is a lovely day at TCIS. Welcome to the Wednesday show. I'm Smart, and here are your weekly announcements for Wednesday, March 8th. The NJHS would like to have a fundraiser to raise money for the victims of the earthquake in Turkey. They will be doing a competition between the high school and middle school to see who can raise the most money from March 13th to the 24th. Students will monitor a large water jug near the high school elevator for the high school donations. A large water jug will be placed in Mr. Richard's office for middle school donations. Two more water jugs will be near the registrar's desk for parents to donate money directly. For more information, please contact NJHS or Mr. Jeff. The JV boys and girls will have a basketball tournament this Sunday. Wish them luck and hope they can win the tournament. The sports schedule for the week of March 13th will be posted early next week. Badminton for grade 4 to 5 and basketball for grade 2 to 3 will start next week. The teacher vs. student basketball event will be hosted by the local aid next Monday during lunchtime in the 5th floor gym. You can bring your lunch to eat at the event. Be sure to buy your ticket sometime this week. The TOCFL is coming up very soon. Here is Lewis with more. TOCFL is a standardized Chinese test of Taiwanese Mandarin language proficiency of Taiwan for non-native speakers such as foreign students. TOCFL tests the Chinese as a foreign language. This is an exam from the Taiwanese Ministry of Education that provides a standardized leveling of students' Chinese language ability. The TOCFL was set to be during March, but it is now changed to April. This year we're giving the TOEFL test in April after some time, so it'll be fourth quarter this year. The TOCFL test can be used to apply to university. Some universities that accept TOCFL include NTU and Tsinghua. I would encourage all of our students to take it um, because it gives a standardized measure of their Chinese fluency, but it's especially important for students who want to think about joining FASCA or who are thinking about studying in Taiwan at the university level. When I apply for universities, I might apply to a Taiwanese university. We strongly suggest students take this test, especially those who plan to study in China or Taiwan. If we have the chance, anyone and everyone should take it because it definitely helps your Chinese get better and comprehension, reading skills, and there's also a time limit to it. I think everyone who wants to apply to colleges in either Taiwan or China should take it. Since I'm Louis reporting from WTV. Well, we hope the students taking the test are fully prepped and ready for the test. We look forward to everyone's success on the test, which hopefully brings their hopes into fruition. Next up, we have an interesting location that many people may want to take a look at. Everyone's childhood should have been to this place at least once. This is the Science Center for Education and Planetarium, the first and one of the best science museums in Bangkok. This is both a tourist attraction and a great educational resource for people interested in astronomy, science, and geography. The tickets are inexpensive because their purpose is to allow people to learn and study. This place is divided into three main buildings, the Science Museum building, the Underwater building, and the Natural building. The main highlight of the Science Center is the Planetarium. The Planetarium is currently divided into two main performances. There are planetarium shows and movies about the stars, skies, and space. This planetarium also has an exhibition about space, astronaut, and the planetarium's history. The Science Center for Education and Planetarium is a great place to spend a few hours learning, exploring, and experiencing science in a unique way. So plan a time to take a visit. The center is located near Ikamai and is easily accessible from the BTS. I'm Lingling reporting from the Science Center for Education and Planetarium for WTV. Wow, the center seems like a fun place to visit. Speaking of fun, Let's have a look at the special video from the student council.
That's all the announcements for today. If you have any announcements, make sure to submit them on the WTV Google form. See you next week on WTV.